Hey guys, before we start, I just thought I'd give you this guide for skipping ahead in case you were looking for something in particular instead of just watching the whole video. If not, that's cool. To animate the character, to, I mean to rig the character, start by adding a single bone, which you can find on the add armature single bone menu. Grab the bone, tab into edit mode, then we're going to build the skeleton. We're just going to build one side of it and then mirror it over to the other. So we will uh, bring this up, make this the uh, pelvis. Yeah, maybe I'll come over here, go down to display, turn on x-ray so we can see it through the mesh. Pelvis, we're kind of going to replicate, uh, copy the human skeleton so that the movements and joints will be more accurate to an actual person. So we'll just uh, make this the uh, pelvis. For simplicity's sake, we'll name it as we go along. So open this menu with the N key. Item, armature, object, armature, item is the, uh, the bone. So we'll call it pelvis. Call this thing a uh, Grab the tip. You can select the middle and the tips differently. So at the moment, these are all connected. If I were to press Alt P, that we could disconnect it. So uh, grab this, extrude it up all the way up. This will be the rib cage. I'll just call this ribs. Bring it up. That's quite far. I don't know. Yeah, there's the neck. So I'll just bring this up, top of the spine, plugging into the skull. Make this the. Uh, neck and then the head so that's the torso now we're going to do the limbs so I'll just put my cursor over here shift a the only th the only object you can add in when you're making an armature is a bone so you don't have to select it now this bone we're going to slot in here to the arm, bring this back to the uh, shoulder, then make sure this is fits into the elbow. Now we're going to name this, uh, let's call it upper, actually no we don't want to do that because you see the shoulders can also be pulled forward by the chest muscles and they'll bend with the clavicle so we'll actually make this the uh, I'll just name it once I've moved it into the clavicle position, make it less confusing for you guys. Move it over, grab G, okay, slots in, but this needs to come forward. Comes forward to the tip of the chest, tip of the sternum, just above. Slot it in there. Call this clavicle.l. Everything that's not in the center needs to be named with a dot L or dot R on the end so the computer knows which side it is on and then when we mirror it over it'll change it to clavicle dot R so you'll have dot L on this side dot R on this side once we flip the names and I'll just drag that down fit it into the upper arm this looks good extrude out what will make this one a uh, upper arm dot L Forearm dot L. That's not a dot. G Y. And we'll make this the uh, hand dot L. Then we'll just uh, let's duplicate this. This uh, hand setup isn't entirely anatomically accurate, but it'll it'll serve our purposes. Uh, we'll name this finger. We'll, call, uh, we'll name the fingers based on what they are. So index one, strewed out two. Sorry. Extrude out again. And 
and then just make sure it fits inside what we've made with the mesh. Make sure these this uh, bit fits into the knuckle. And they should get shorter as it goes along, assuming we've made the mesh correctly. Otherwise we'll have distorted fingers and then we'll just duplicate this and fit it into the others. With the hands and the arm done, we'll just uh, move to the legs. So uh, if you've left edit mode, just uh, tab straight back in. Put your cursor there, shift A, rotate so it looks like this. Slot that into the knee. Extrude out for the foot and then for the toe. We'll call this uh, dot L. Remember dot L on the end of everything. If you haven't done that with the arm stuff, just uh, go back and do that. In, oh, no, wait, that's lower leg dot L. Mistake L and dot L. Now we want to parent these to the uh, mesh, to the uh, torso bones. So let me just go into pose mode to show you what I'm talking about. If I uh, grab this and rotate it, the torso will rotate, but the arms won't be moving with it. They'll just be sitting there and it'll warp and deform horribly and just look horrible. But there's a thing we can do instead of just selecting both of them when we want to rotate because apart from not working, it's just a waste of time. So what we want to do is pop right back into edit mode, parent this to the uh, rib cage, make it connected, we'll connect it, we don't want that, we just want it to follow it but still keep the offset, so the distance between it, so we'll just go control P, keep offset. And now if I go into pose mode, it'll rotate. So that's that. We'll just uh, parent this to the pelvis. Actually, no, I meant uh, this one first because it'll parent the one you select first, the uh, one you connect second. If I did it the other way, the uh, pelvis would follow the leg. That, was, that would not be what you wanted. So now this is parented to the pelvis and this is parented to the ribcage, just the way the fingers are par parented to the hand bone. Now if we just slot these over, rotate, we'll move on. Now if I were to uh, go into pose mode now, sorry, mistake, uh, pose mode. Uh, if I rotate this, the uh, arm will follow. If I uh, rotate the pelvis, everything will follow because the torso extrudes out from that and the arm is connected to everything above that and the leg is connected to the pelvis but you, you saw that when I rotated the pelvis the leg moves with it so it's all parented correctly if I move the hands let me just see okay uh, yeah you see I made a mistake when I made these finger bones instead of parenting to the hand I duplicated these from that and th they inherited the parent of this, which is this. So instead of being parented to the hand bone, they parented to this. Let me just uh, wipe that. Alt-P, clear parent, select that, Control-P, keep offset. Now they're all parented to this. Let's just check that, pose mode, grab, rotate. There, fixed my blunder. Now what we want to do is to be able to move the arms, not by just grabbing this, rotating, then grabbing the upper arm, rotating, then grabbing this. No, we don't want to do that, that's bad. So if I just select everything, Alt-R, that'll reset the rotation, Alt-G, reset any translation I've done in pose mode. Uh, go back into edit mode. What we want to do, oh, I mean edit mode, sorry, not object mode. We're going to grab the hand bone, 
Shift D and call this hand ik.l. What we're going to do with this is I'll P clear parents and then when we drag this in pose mode, the entire arm is just going to follow it. Very easy, you see. So what we want to do is grab the forearm, go to bone constraints, which will be similar to the modifiers for like a mesh, but obviously this is a mesh. Go inverse kinematics. So forward kinematics means like you rotate this, then you rotate this, then you rotate this. Whereas inverse kinematics means it'll all just follow the IK bone. So you select this because it's one before the IK and set the target. You'll get the object that the IK bone is part of, which is the armature. Conveniently, that's also what this is a part of. Don't think it would make a difference, but you know, it's elegant. Set the bone to hand IK.L. And then when we move the hand IK.L, the entire thing will follow. But as you can see, it's moving everything. We just want it to move the arm. So set the chain length to two. So that's one, that's two. Let me just go Alt G R, reset it. And now let me grab hand IK.L. And now it works very nicely. So uh, the shoulder is staying in place. We'll rotate that by hand. Just uh, Alt G, Alt R. And now what you see is that when I rotate the hand IK, the arm moves, but the hand doesn't rotate with it, even though it's moved, the rotation isn't inherited. So what I want to do is go copy rotation, armature, and then we'll set this also to the hand IK. So now if I grab the hand IK and rotate it, the hand bone will copy it. So let me Alt R. Awesome. Now I'll just do the same thing with the foot. Go grab foot, duplicate, clear parent, uh, pose mode, grab the shin, and doo -doo -doo -doo. inverse kinematics, armature, bone will be the foot IK. I didn't name a foot IK, did I? That was a mistake. Uh, let's get the foot, yeah foot ik.l. You can do this in pose mode as well as in edit mode. Now we'll just grab this foot ik. Good. And now uh, chain length to two. And then grab the foot.l, copy rotation, arm armature, bone, foot ik.l. Uh, grab the ik and now it works. Of course, the knee is just not going the way we want it to. And same with this. Actually, this is pretty good because we've got the correct bend. You see, if we uh, were to grab this, and grab it back, the, uh, the IK stuff automatically assumes that the, foot, the leg is meant to bend back. But we can do better than that. We can actually add, we'll uh, rotate this 90 degrees, show it in front of this, call this the uh, knee.l pose mode. And this is going to be our pole target. So the object of the pole target is also the armature, and then the bone is knee.l. Now, obviously, that shoves it out to the side. You saw there, so let me just get the pole angle correct. It slots, yep, yeah, 104.8 seems to be about right. And now, if I move this forward, it'll move it, uh, the leg, but now I can also control the direction of it by moving the knee. So if I drag that, it also does that. So Alt G, Alt R, and then we'll do the same thing, creating an elbow. So. Uh, Shift A, rotate X, da 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 da, 90. Scale, elbow dot L, that is in the correct place. Let's just pose mode, grab, pull target, the object is the armature, and the item will be the elbow. Oh, pole angle is wrong, let's set that about 180. 
That's actually right. Yay, got it first time. Now just test it, hand IK, grab it, and now let's move the elbow. Up, down, up, down, it works. Ulti, da 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 da. Okay, now we just want to mirror the mesh. So we're not going to mirror anything that is set along the center line because, you know, it's already on the center. We just want the stuff that's on the left side to also be duplicated on the right side. So let's just make it easy on ourselves. Get the 3D cursor, shift C to put it in the center. If your object isn't in the center, this won't work, but mine is, so yay for me. Shift D to duplicate, now I'm holding it. Let's just press Command Z uh, to undo that because we don't want to drag it around. We want to um, we want to move it over to this side, so Shift D. Control M to, wait, yeah. Control M across the X axis and then because we're, we've set it the pivot point to the cursor, it'll flip it across where the cursor was, which is here onto this side. But now the names, as you can see, they're still clavicle.l something something. What we want is clavicle.r. So just W, press W, it'll bring this page up, and flip names. Now everything on this side, dot r, dot r, dot l, dot l, dot r, dot r. Very nice. Just check back, our, change our pivot point back because we don't really want to use that. And then we'll just add another three bones for the gun. So this thing, uh, just call it rifle, shift D, minus 90 on the Z, actually. Move it over, scale, make this the uh, reload thingy. I apologize if you're a gun enthusiast and actually know what that thing is. Uh, parent this to the rifle. Oh, no, sorry, that was a mistake. What did I just do? Why did I need a full start? I'm not renaming it, I'm parenting it. Connect it, uh, keep offsets, and then shifty this, rotate. Scale, add it to the magazine, and then add it to the, select this as well. So this is selected first, this is selected second, then we parent it, control P, keep offset. Now if I move this in pose mode, it all works. And one extra thing you could do if you think it'd help you while animating, which it probably will, is to uh, grab the rifle thing and add it to hand.r. So control P, keep offset. So now when we uh, go into pose mode, if I move the hand IK, it'll move the hand with it, and with the hand, we'll move the gun. So now all that you need to do now is grab the uh, these three. One, two, three. Grab the armature and then control P to parent it with automatic weights. You'll see some deformation already sometimes. I would prefer that didn't happen, but you know, it just does. Go to pose mode, and now if I say move the leg, the mesh will move with it. Obviously this deformation isn't what we want. We only want it bending in the bendy bits, not the armor plates. So we'll fix that in my new episode, in my next episode, which will be on weight painting. I will see you then.